Whoa! Was that Christmas music you were just listening yeah. to? It's the beginning of November. Yeah, now I've caught you in the act. You're denying it. How do you feel about yourself? Hmm? Real talk. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. All as you is. Well, I went to town yesterday. Fun fact. I went to town yesterday and all the lights were up. They were playing Christmas music everywhere. I was like, hold your horses. Honeys. Mariah Carey has already entered the charts and it's like the earliest she's entered the charts in the year in years You won't be catching me listening to Mariah Carey. There's only one Christmas song. I'm listening to this year It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour put in the work put in the hours and take what's ours like it Welcome back to Freaky Friday, where every Friday I have a little gang watch some freaky films together that have been sent in by you. I might have to change that intro a little. Every Friday, I think, is a little bit of a, an exaggeration. If you'd like to be involved in Freaky Friday, send the link to the scariest video you know and put it in my Discord channel or DM it to me on Twitter or Instagram. And boom! You'll get featured in one of these videos and get a shout out. So go and get your snacks. I've got my drink. As always, you gotta stay hydrated. I'm feeling today maybe a Hershey's Cookies and Cream or a Cadbury's Cream Egg. Oh. So, for the first time in November, let's get on with the first video. The first video we have is called Home Movies, uploaded by Dylan Clark. This was sent in on the Discord by KCK is bored. I'm sorry to hear that, KCK. Maybe I can cure you from that. I can cure you from the boredom. Revert the boredom from your Just life. Just watch the video. Home Movies. Oh, I didn't like that. I are these going to be like VHS tapes? If, I feel sorry for the uh, recent generation not being able to have VHS tapes. They were so cool as a kid. These aren't VHSs though, these are just videotapes. But still, my point still stands. Oh yeah. We love chicken nuggets here. Hold on a minute. What kind of decor is this? Are we in a zoo? Watching these types of home movies is creepy. Like seeing yourself as a child. I was an ugly ass child. I'm sorry. What? A little emotional there. Oh! I know you saw that. Little ballerina. As a shout out to one of the first, uh, one of the first no. horror films that we watched on Freaky Friday. That's my brother's birthday. Are we in the same house as in this tape? Uh, what was it? What was it? What do you see, girl? What do you see? What is it? <gasps> oh! Was that a face? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goosebumps to goosebumps are back. It's live. Oh, I've got him. I've got him. Look. You, you can't see him. You can't see him. Great, Adam.
show one to the camera here. Let's see. Oh my! Look turn it off. Me. Get turn it off, please. Look on him. Oh, look at this. Pack your bags Treasure and move Trove. out. Run upstairs. No, run out the house. I don't see anything. Oh my good idea. Oh my gosh. Oh no way, no way. Mm -mm. She's sidestepping. Uh, uh, close your mouth. I can smell your breath from here. No, don't do that. No, why would you do that? Now we're blind. Oh. Okay, little poltergeist movement. Little poltergeist movement. That's alright. She can't hurt us. Oh, like Outlast. Outlast maneuvers. <laughs> Why am I moving about so much? Hannah. Where are you going? December 13th. That's my dad's birthday. What is going on? You're learning class. Where are you going? Oh! Come up. Come up. Well done, Dylan Clark. Technically, we don't know whether that ghost was malicious or not. She could have just been cracking her back. We don't know. <laughs>the next video we have was sent in from Jalen Ramsey. Thank you very much, Jalen. The video is called True Deep Web Horror Story. That's when I start to get a little... Uh, like, it's when a film, you watch a horror film and it says based on a true story, I'm... I'm out. I'm gone. Uploaded by Horror Shorts Party. He said with this one, he was glued to his seat. So, everyone, get- Strap in. <laughs> oh, I don't like the breathing. Narrated by Terence Nicholson. And additional voice, Ariane. Thank you, Terence and Ariane. This is a story that took place back when I was living with my ex-girlfriend, Jasmine. I had recently moved from my okay. parents' house and into an apartment complex where it was surprisingly quieter compared to the Congrats, suburban area big I moves. was used to. Jasmine and I were both college graduates who worked full-time in our respective fields of study. Ooh, tough. I was in the construction business as I was always a blue-collar guy. That guy does not look healthy. Look at the bags under his eyes. You can skateboard on those. Well, to be fair. <sighs> I can't really talk. <laughs> I was in the construction business as I was always a blue collar kind of guy mm -hmm. who enjoyed hands on work revolving around the trades industry. I got you, I Jasmine got you. was a financial advisor, so she usually got to work from home while I had the usual nine to five that I've become accustomed to for the latter part of my life. Okay. On my off time, I would usually hang out with Jasmine at our local park or simply kick back and binge watch several shows on Netflix till I had completely passed out. Going to our local park around the evening time became a daily occurrence of ours. <laughs> As rowing back and forth on the swings was Jasmine. You play in the kids' park with each other? Before the very next day at work. This became a daily oh, routine. Oh, ours since who is that? The Grinch? Well, at least with the exception of Saturday nights, when I usually video called three close friends of mine from where I originally resided. Yeah, you gotta stay loyal to the Joe, Max, and to Steve. the home boys. This was a way back I could stay home. connected with my friends, as I didn't want to tarnish my friendships with them, nor did I want to be known as the odd friend who cuts people off because he was quote-unquote whipped. Exactly. Hey Rick, how's your stay over there? Must be good getting some action with all your parents in the next room, huh? 
Uh, no comment. Hey boys, we gonna keep talking about Ricky's love life or we gonna get this party started? What the hell do these two guys do? First of all, get your stubbly chest out ah, of my face. Ah. I can smell both of your rooms from here. Hey boys, we gonna keep talking about Ricky's love life or we gonna uh, get look, this party started? Look, they got Terrence started. Nicholson and Jeez, Ariane posters. Boy. Dang, what's the rush? That's cool. We have all night, dude. All right. The animation's good on this as well. This was how me and my friends socially interacted with one another. We shared our personal scary stories and videos from around the internet that would be categorized within the horror genre. My friends and I have been horror addicts since childhood, so geeking over anything horror related was equivalent to our summer camp days back when we were still we're in very elementary alike. school. <laughs> I didn't want Same to here. abruptly end the so-called tradition we had established despite living miles away from them, so I would mm -hmm. make sure I video called them every so often. I recall dozing off from the lackluster stories being shared by my two friends Joe and Max, until it was Steve's turn to share his story. You guys ever been on the dark web? Uh, no, not me. Ugh. Dude, don't tell me you actually went on it. I personally didn't, but my younger brother did. He recently showed me this weird snuff film the other day that I thought you guys might like. Right. I snuff? Personally Wait. I intrigued by the idea as oh, no, I no, didn't no, no, know no, or I've... see much content regarding I was, I was thinking of something different. Smut I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you know what that is, let's just, let's just move past it. All I knew was that it was a hidden browser that sold illegal products you would find on the street except everything Don't was go online. On it. Or at least on the dark side of the internet. Yep. That's when Steve extemporaneously invites his younger brother in his room and introduces him. Hey boys, say hi to my brother <laughs> Eric. What up, dude? What's up, what Eric? up, Eric? You guys want to see something cool? Hell yeah. No. Uh, sure, dude. This better be good, or else I want five minutes of my life back. Eric shares his screen and opens up a video from an array of MP4 files shown on a folder. Right. I then saw a low-quality video oh! of a woman suspended in midair with her arms and feet attached with steel chains. Why she would you have that saved on your computer? bird-like position, almost like her perpetrator had no intentions of providing any circulation to the woman's extremities. I could see this poor lady desperately wailing through the duct tape on her mouth while hopelessly trying to free herself by vigorously shaking her arms and legs. Oh my... Oh, well... To be fair, if I looked at all of them... He was the one that I'd guess that would have this kind of video on their computer. I remember gasping in awe as I didn't know if this was some sort of weird hoax or if this was a legitimate snuff film about to unfold. That's when I heard a loud sound abruptly come from the background, like someone was revving an engine to a motor of something. What? A chain? I then saw a large man approaching oh! the woman while wearing a pig what? mask oh! and holding a running chainsaw in a barbaric fashion. It looked like some psycho wanted Don't to rent do someone's it. leather Don't face from the Texas it. Chainsaw Massacre. Based on the way he held the chainsaw and the attire he presented himself in. You're my lucky number 20. You know that? I never thought I'd reach this milestone, you know? All that hard labor. Just to get to you. Do Jeez, you even Terrence. know what you put me through? Huh? Tell the people watching at home. How much you appreciate my hard work. Damn, Terrence is in his voice Say acting it. bag. <laughs> That's what I thought. You're going to be the best doll I've ever had. Doll? You complete me. <laughs> Rick, what the hell is going on? Jasmine. It's not what you think. Jasmine, get out! I don't want you seeing this! That's when the pig man began to pierce the chainsaw into the woman's arms and legs as each limb dropped from her torso and was left dangling oh, from each no. chain. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This can't be real. What kind of sick person would do this to someone? I remember feeling the sensation of a trickle of blood running down my nostrils as what? I see my friends visibly shaken up by the footage. The woman had all four of her limbs dissected by the chainsaw as she eventually collapsed on the floor and began having a seizure. I abruptly end the video call. Is he I 11 from Stranger anymore. Things? I decided to message my friends through a group chat saying that I was throwing in the towel and heading to bed. Trying to comprehend what had just occurred was almost impossible. 
I couldn't help but tremble in the same spot for about several minutes. Bro, you need a new friend. I eventually end up crawling into bed and laying next to Jasmine while trying to force myself to sleep and not think about what transpired on that video chat. This is when the story gets more disturbing. Even Fast more than that? about two years, my life has taken a drastic turn for the worst. My girlfriend and I mutually oh agreed to separate gosh. while my- Oh my gosh, and I thought my bags were bad. Bro's eye bags look like a gate to the abyss. My girlfriend and I mutually agreed to separate while my dad Damn. passed away at the age of 45 due to heart failure. Oh my god. Bro, that video was cursed. At least the only way is up. Leaving my mother and three children, including myself, alone. I never felt so depressed in my life. I would sometimes spontaneously cry at work while trying to hide my emotions from the other employees. Damn, bro. It honestly felt like the days were getting longer and my weekends were getting shorter as time went on. I couldn't help but think that that video was some kind of curse. That's what I, that's what I, I was saying. I remember being at the stage where I had completely isolated myself from everyone around me. That's what it does to you. That's what it does to you. I eventually developed an obsession over the dark web and installed a Tor browser on my laptop. I wanted to climb further down the rabbit hole. Why? I wanted to see if I could discover anything related to the pig man or the woman he had mutilated that night. I recall surfing the hidden wiki only to come across a few links selling various weapons, illegal services, Hold on. and narcotics. Hold on. Michael Jackson's breath in a jar? Hitmen for hire. And Happy narcotics. Land pills. I hallucination wasn't pills. interested in such things, so I began browsing some more. Oh my gosh, no, After get two off! hours of intense searching, I found similar style images of females having their extremities- Dolls, yeah, them, that's what he called them. as so-called dolls. I then came across an MP4 file on the homepage of one of the links on the hidden wiki. I pressed play and bro, saw a what? video of a bro, woman why? Oh! with a paper mask on her face. <sighs> This honestly looked like the same setting as the previous video. I then saw the same large man approach her as he kicked the poor lady off of the swing and began yelling, Work for me! <laughs> now walk, dog! Bro, that's how, uh, that's how most TikTok comments are when they see someone attractive. He kicked the poor lady off oh of the swing gosh. and began yelling, Work for me! Now walk, dog! That's when the amputated woman began walking on all fours as if she was a stray dog or something. Oh my. As the pig man got Whoa, closer freak. to the freak! I could see he was wearing what looked like the skin face of an actual human. What makes this story more disturbing was how similar the skin mask looked in comparison to Jasmine's face. From the identical oh. freckles to the skin complexion to oh. the swing. All the pieces That's were starting to add up as I genuinely believe this woman could potentially be my ex-girlfriend Jasmine. I then googled Jasmine's name no. only to find her in a missing persons report. No. Several months later, my speculation no. would finally come to a halting stop as Jasmine's body was found in a black garbage bag located in a dumpster outside a meat market. So it wasn't her? At the time oh my god, it was. Event, Jasmine was found unresponsive and in critical condition. She was eventually taken to the hospital and miraculously survived her injuries. About a year or two after her recovery, she was given a formal unpublished interview, but it was reported that she had suffered from severe Stockholm Syndrome. This is Poor what Poor Jasmine, like. man. Today is currently oh. Wednesday the 21st. The time is approximately 3 p.m. in the afternoon. We are here with Jasmine. We'll briefly answer questions based oh, on her current health concerns. Oh, look at her eyeballs. Story. She's now looking Jasmine, at different angles. If you feel uncomfortable at all during the interview, feel free to let us know and we'll take a break. Her skull okay? is showing and she has no nose. To master swing where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. So, first and foremost, how is your health today? I want to return home to master swing where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. Uh... Jasmine, how would you describe your experience while being held in captivity? I want to return home to Master Sleep, uh, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. Can you describe your captor's appearance? Jasmine, Jasmine, Whoa, are you okay? Jasmine. Do you need some water? I want to master Swing, Whoa. Where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. I want to return home to Master Swing, where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. Okay, can you please tell us what his name is? Where the world is divine and the dolls are beautiful. 
Jasmine. I want to return home to us. Jasmine, Jasmine, come. Tell us his name. Tell us the beautiful. I want to return home to Master Sleep. Tell us his name, damn it. Divine, and the dolls are beautiful. Tell I us his name. I want to return home to Master Sleep, where the world is divine. What is and the your dolls master's are name? His name is Pigman. <laughs> no. A Christmas ad. I just got a Christmas ad. Oh my gosh. Is that it? Oh my gosh. Jasmine, no. So who was the pig man? Terence Nicholson. You did your thing with the voice acting there at the end. What was his name? What was his name? Hey, Tell us his name, well, damn it. it. Screw Robert Patterson for Batman this year. Let's get Terence Nicholson. Jalen, I was glued to my seat there. I don't have any snacks to give you. I'll give you a drink. Do you want a drink? Here we go. There you go. Drink up. Stay hydrated. That's it. That's it. The next video we have was posted by Ronja or Ronya. Sorry if I butchered it. He said, not gonna lie, this short film kind of freaked me out. Well, Ronya, Ronja, how do you feel? You're about to freak so many more people out. Thank you very much for sending it in, by the way. The video is called The Armoire, uploaded by Alter. We all know Alter at this point. It's a requirement to have an Alter video in a Freaky Friday, I think. Let's see what Alter's got for us this time. Come on, Alter. Where are we at? That truck has definitely seen better days. One headlight on. So armoire, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what armoire means. <laughs> so this is gonna be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. Unless you know what armoire means, obviously. Let's strap in. Fish net? Is he a fisherman? Or is he just a scrap a scrapper? I don't think that's a profession, but we'll go with it. What? The What is on your face, man? Black boot? He's got mold on him? What is that black goop? Is it venom? <laughs> the armoire. Huh. Okay, so, um, basically... Here we go. Uh, High production as always. Call this number right here, and then this number right here to set up your gas and electricity. Water and trash are obviously included in your rent. Mm. And Thank you. Okay, if you could just sign right here. Okay. And then right here. Always read the small print. Initial at the bottom, please. Okay. Emma Brown, actress. Oh. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, these are your keys. This run right here is for the front of the building. Do not copy it. And this right here is for your apartment. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome to LA. Oh. Actors trying to make it in LA. I see how it is. Trying to be a big time star. Be a part of Hollywood. Get those get that clout up. Get those followers up. <laughs> She seems to be doing all right. She's in this. She's in this movie. It's a nice place, though. It's a big place. You should see some of the places in the UK that probably cost the same amount as this. No, it's li a literal it, but, shed. You know, it's granny. Um, Mum... I just wanted to let you know that I did go a little over the rent that we agreed to. Oh, right. That's why. I'm in a really safe neighborhood, just like you and Dad asked. So I was just wondering maybe... Safe neighborhood? You could send oh, me a little more money just to get started. And I promise I'll get a job ASAP. 
Is it Australian? Is she Australian? Australia? Thank you, Mike? Mom. <laughs> no, honestly, don't even worry about that. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Hmm. Yeah. You can ball out once once you've made it. Once you made it in all those films. Are you not? Are you not gonna have it delivered? There's no way you're wheeling that back to your place. Oh, oh! That's the thing the guy dropped off. This is her fault for bringing this back. There was duct tape all over it. It was sealed off and it was dumped. I'm not taking that. Whoa. Whoa. What happened there? You zoned out a little? Yeah, that furniture is is not it. Not for me. No thanks. Come on, just oh, just jump scare me. I know it's coming. <gasps> oh my gosh! That scared the living shit out of me because I thought the, the other thing was going to open. <laughs> oh. Why did you get an audition though? I hope she survives to actually get there. Right. Do all actors have these kind of walls? Anthony Mackie is on there. <laughs> what was that? What? Got Ricky Gervais, Seth Rogen. Sorry, I need to stop looking at that wall. Oh, is that someone's fingers? Uh uh. Uh uh. Oh! Oh! What is going on? Get rid of the furniture. Surely you can put two and two together. Oh, this is stressing me out. not just go out and you're not you're not concerned about that it was all right you never know with these things you know yeah no i know anyways mom i'm a little exhausted right now can i call you later it's all right you have to build up the portfolio you gotta start somewhere Mom, can I call you back? Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 slow down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's not normal. That's what's happening to me. The hair's on the back of my neck. Oh no, that... What 
What is that? Blue goop. Bl blue black goop. That's what the guy had at the start. Okay. Oh my god, why did she look up like that? Okay. Hmm. Oh, man, what's with these shots, man? Yeah, you really have to start somewhere. Don't even have a bed, mattress on the floor. That's, that, that's, that's an efficient way, though. Who needs a bed, really? Who needs a friend? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There's no way someone wakes up that quickly. What? What? Has it moved? Is it just me or did it... Is it... It changed places. Oh! Alright, yeah, out, out. What? Out the window. Oh my gosh, run out, yeah. Check your corners. Be swift, be agile, be agile. Uh, uh my camera died. Ooh. What happened there? Well, she just killed it? Has she been possessed? No, I liked her. Oh yeah, she's not herself. He's dead as well. They're just all dead. All the people that come into contact with it. Oh, mate. Surely you can... Hey, hon! Surely you can- look at the arms on this guy! Surely he can defend himself from it. Jeez! Alter! You've smashed it once again. That one scare when he was on top of the thing. 
Oh my god. We have come to the end of the first Freaky Friday of November. Thank you to everyone who sent in the videos. I hope you finished all your snacks and your drink. I haven't actually finished all my drink. Hold on, let me choke. Let me choke. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm sorry, I didn't ask you how your day was. Was it good? If it wasn't, then I hope I've made it a tiny bit better. Also, let me know which video was your favourite. I read every comment. <gasps> oh, sorry. That drink's still getting to me. And we are very close to 10,000 subscribers. 10,000?! The gang is growing fast. If you want to be a part of it, then hit that subscribe button down there. If you go close to it enough, you can smell it. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a great day, or a great night, or a great evening. And I will see you all in my next video. What's that? Oh no. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take